artwork. Art works. What does it mean? Is it a tangible thing created by an artist's hands? Is it inspiration brought about by the work of art itself? Or is the result the very thing that art itself creates? New jobs, economic growth, a growing community. It is all of these things and more. Enlivening our community, enriching the experience, inspiring each of us every day. Well, art is the ability to imbue material with thought, right? So to take one thing and then work with it or process it or consider it in such a way that it becomes something else. It truly really is sort of a magical and incredible process. And it takes a lot of people and it takes a lot of time and it's, it's very personal and hello. It's also, it's also really public. Even if it's something that you do in a private space, it reflects on you when you leave that space. It's also just a necessity. I have no memory of not making work. And I, you know, when people ask me, like, so what made you decide to become an artist? I remember, you know, putting a beret on my head and thinking, this is it. <laughs> if I wear this beret, then I'll be an artist. I knew what I was once I found out there was a word for it. You know, I do have sort of a strong feeling like if you don't have to do it, then just sort of get out of my way because I don't really have a choice. Kansas City offers a spectrum, the full range spectrum of theater. You have uh, the classics with the Heart of America Shakespeare Theater, uh, the American Heartland, the new theater presenting classic plays, classic comedies, but there's also theaters like the Unicorn, like the Kansas City Rep, that are showing new works that are challenging, that are um, thought provoking, that uh, may rattle you a little bit, and original works that are started here in Kansas City, generated out of Kansas City, and are going national. I believe the purpose of art is to inspire. Um, I think that is the most important job an artist can do. We as artists are often inspired ourselves to do the, when we do the work. And we're often trying to tell a story that is meant to change human behavior. We try to reach out and touch that audience and send them home thinking about the possibilities in life, uh, maybe wanting to change their behavior or um, maybe being inspired to, to take on new challenges. Art is a way of being able to um, present the hard questions, uh, the hard lessons that a lot of times are, are not very palpable in any other way. We are able to take a look at ourselves, look at human nature, the dark, the good, the bad, through art, unlike any other way. When you read articles from the New York Times and other national sources, they always look to Kansas City's art scene. People are always talking about the impressive arts in Kansas City, but we need to be doing the same thing here. Hello Art was created because there was the realization that there's a great supply of fantastic original art out there, but we have to cultivate the demand. When you connect the community and businesses with artists, then you begin to sell work, you create jobs. Artists are looking for buyers, they're looking for relationships and patrons, and by introducing them to different businesses throughout Kansas City, different individuals, they can then sell their work. For the longest time, I felt like Kansas City's arts community was sort of an underground economy. And with Hello Art, we're able to bring the economy to the surface and bring everyone into the fold. We've been built upon so many great artists and their energy and their creativity and our neighborhoods show it. 
But finally, the business community, the civic community embracing that, that's what's going to take it to the next level. And we should be really proud of what we have here in Kansas City. Artwork is that hard to define thing that reminds us that there is something bigger than ourselves. This is something from within us that is compelling, that needs to be expressed, and that brings great joy to loads of people and to the artists, of course. It's uh, a necessity. I think one of the things it can do is transform you. It transforms your thinking. Art changes you forever. and. It is hard, and it takes dedication, and in the end, it always gives back to you more than what you put in. A truly great artist is one who has incorporated a multitude of these technical uh, elements and put them together in a way that then is uh, sublime and, and takes uh, the audience on a journey with the artist. We continue to strive to present something, to say something that people have an interest in hearing and experiencing. I don't really know how much good it is for us to peg down exactly what that experience is, but really mainly to open ourselves up to the possibility of that experience. To be able to grab someone and take them to a place which they didn't think they knew, that is something magic. Kansas City ranks seventh nationally in terms of the concentration of visual artists per capita. And for Kansas City, that's something we should really be proud of. Here in Kansas City, more artists are able to earn a living in their chosen fields than a lot of the other cities in, in the country. Yeah, art brings in more conversation and more money and more socialization than anything else. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity for an artistic director to participate in the opening of a, of a brand new state of the art performance facility.